I'm uh, doing the water tank again and uh, I've put various things on it. Initially I put um, put blackjack, uh, bitumen based um, paint which was at the recommendation of uh, Midland Chandlers in uh, Penkeridge which is actually carcinogenic and Pretty harmful really to humans, I've no idea why they told me to put in my water tank but it's a pretty dangerous thing to do. So um, I had to uh, had to do something to make it a little bit more um, potable. So um, I bought this stuff which is the Rylard's um, water tank paint uh, that's supposed to be used with bitumen um, tanks, I suppose tanks that have existing paint, which is bitumen based paint in them. So um, I used that for a little while but um, it flaked off I think during the summer when you've got a contrast between the, the heat of the uh, of the hull and the cold of the water tank. It kind of, uh, it causes the paint to fatigue and flake away from the tank so I found that I've had bits of uh, black um, water tank paint which again it's not it's probably about the most unhealthy thing you can possibly ingest so um, this water tank painting is not um, unless you're good at it I don't think I'd recommend drinking from your water tank let's put it that way so let's just have a look um, this is, I've cleaned it all out again and you can see it's kind of flecked around the, um, around the sides but up towards the top, around the top edges. It's not so bad, you know, it's kind of, it's almost uh, nothing wrong with it really. But when you go downwards towards the bottom of the tank, um, you've got that, as I say, I think there's that heat difference. And you've got a lot of uh, flaking away there at the bottom. So we're going to try and sort that out a little bit because I don't really, as I say, it's dangerous to have it with so many bits loose in it. So what we're going to try and do is we're trying to just seal these bits in so that it doesn't um, doesn't deteriorate anymore. So I've got this done. I've we got, we've got this Vactan stuff now. So this is Vactan. And uh, you can get it in different size bottles. Um, 500, me 500 millilitres was enough for 9 square metres. Now I don't think I've got 9 square metres in there. Uh, so I only got the, so I got this, it should be enough for 4. I think there's probably about 2 square metres in there. So I think it'll be plenty. And um, yeah same sort of warnings about uh, not getting it on yourself and uh, this fact on it kind of dries out quite it says um, only like ten, two minutes or something drying time uh, actually on the product um, specifications it says I think it says like 20 minutes drying time or something and so I'm not expecting it to be as uh, Laborious and boring as painting with the uh, Rylards, which is yeah, it's going to be a much quicker job. So I'm just going to get in there and uh, give it a paint, and then we'll have another look at it. So I've added the vac tan and uh, painted the tank, and I guess I don't know. You can, get it. You can see there's a glossy finish on it, and that white stuff in the corners there. Let's just dry it out. So, um, yeah, took about two hours to do that, all in all, maybe two hours to paint it, that is, and then about not long, I suppose the preparation, painting it. When I did it last time, it took about um, 
Well, you put a coat on, just take, and you have to wait eight hours for it to dry. And then you can go back in the tank and paint some more. So, it's another eight hours. And then you can go and paint some more. And then it's another eight hours. And you can paint some more and then it's... Right, so yeah. Eight hours plus eight hours for this is the right lads water stuff. Um, so there's four, there's four, four times eight, so it's um, seventy-two or seventy. Yeah, what's four times eight? Thirty-two, sixty-four hours. So that's sixty-four hours painting. Well, drying time for and painting time times two, so one hundred and twenty-eight hours. That's what they reckon that you should do for the product specifications on Rylard um, water tank paint. This fact hand stuff, it just puts the um, puts a seal on it, and it's I suppose it's a, it takes an hour. So maybe I did the first coat just on the back um, side, or the rear side of the water tank just so I could lean on it, get it done and that took an hour to dry roughly and then I just painted all the rest just leaned against the back of it and painted it all it took about half an hour something like that, dead easy it goes, the thing is with the black stuff you can't see where you've painted so you know if you're doing the second coat it's just it's just pathetically difficult to see, you can't see where you've painted and um, yeah, it's just a waste of time. As I say, 126 hours drying, painting combination. You get black crap all over you all the time. Like, it's just, um, it's unbelievably different to uh, uh, the, uh, what I've used before, the bit, the kind of bitumen stuff. It's just, a, it seems just much easier. So I wouldn't recommend anyone use Anything apart from Vactan, I think I'd give Vactan certainly for getting the job done is much, much, much better. So, um, yeah, um, 